What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's up? And this is our friend Al. What's up, Al? Yes. Hey, everybody. Al is from the YouTube channel Dark Side TV and Movie Reviews. And Al is here with Mike and I to help us for our very first episode of our new series called UFB Ultimate Fighting Badlands. Bad what, what do we do on this, Mike? Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be pinning a couple Badlanders head-to-head -head in an Ultimate Fighting Grudge Match. Now, listen, it could be characters that are on the same side, you know, characters that are obviously on opposite sides, but we'll just, we'll just want to see who's going to beat the next guy's rear ends. But <laughs> what is, the, what is the, the, the tipping point here is every character that we're going to be pinning together will have the dark energy, the dark power, the dark chi. That's right. That's right. Whichever you, whichever you like. So we're that glad to different. kick this off. Absolutely, absolutely. We're glad to kick this off with Al. Yep. Um, what are we gonna do? Who are we pinning up, guys? All right. So uh, first one up, we're going, we're going heavyweights. Right out, right out the gate. Right guys. out the gate. We're gonna go strong. It's gonna be Sunny versus Pilgrim, uh. both with the dark chi. Now we know, we know Pilgrim at the end of. Where we are right now, wherever you're watching this, we're recording this in the mid-season break. Pilgrim just got his dark chi. Sonny's hasn't been unlocked yet. And we say that for a very specific reason, because it hasn't been unlocked yet. And we know That's it's right. locked at this point. So, guess what, boys? We're unlocking it. No holds barred. To the whole, the whole bad land. That, that's right. That's... They're doing it. All right. So I say let's just jump right in. So that's right. Um, what do you think? Let's let's just see. You know what? Let's do it this right off the bat. Al, boom. Who's winning this? Sunny, or or Pilgrim? So off the bat, without any explanation, right. I got Sunny coming out on top. Okay, Mike. What do you got? I uh, second that. Sunny. I'm gonna have to third it, guys. It's unanimous. I say I say Sunny too. I say Sunny too. So yeah. we all say Sunny. That's interesting. I didn't think we were all gonna say Sunny. So let's let's uh, let's get into it. Why why let's go with let's go with Pilgrim first. Let let's okay. since we all said Sunny, let's go with yeah. Pilgrim. Let's see what Pilgrim's got. I, I, I'll start you off. Without Dark Chi, we know that. I'm not sure the style of fighting. I was trying to look up these styles, and obviously the most of the Badlands style is Wushu, which is yeah. you know Daniel Wu's. I want to say like native style. That's that's what he's mostly a master in. It's what he right. trains others in, and it's the basis for all these martial arts that we see on the show. Now Pilgrim, however, Pilgrim's a brawler, but he's got finesse, right? So I don't know. It's it's is is it kung fu? Is it taekwondo? He does a lot of throws, but he's not really. It's more like kung fu, right? It, I mean, I don't know. I, I would kind of classify Pilgrim style as probably maybe a fusion of something because it's yeah. It's, I don't, I don't know if I would call it Kung Fu or not necessarily, but it's got some Kung Fu elements, I guess I would right, say. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. I mean, how about let's let's not forget the fact that, number one, we've never really seen him fight with weapons. It's right. all, mm -hmm. all hands, hands on. Right, right. And, and blindfolded. Yeah, <laughs> that's so true. There's, yeah, that's a good so there's point. an element, and this is what kind of swayed me. It didn't necessarily sway me one way or the other because I chose Sonny in the end, but. Um, um, Pilgrim is oh shit! I just fucking lost my train of thought right there, dude. That's all right. Keep going. I'm gonna mark <laughs> it down. Keep going. All right. No, basically, you you're seeing there, there's some elements of Pilgrim that we don't know yet, especially where even though he doesn't have the dark power, he does have these abilities, especially with taking you in and out of the the darkness. Right. You know what and, I mean? And I feel so, like. Is Go that ahead, Mike, I'm is sorry. That something that no, that's fine. Is that is that something that would be enhanced if in fact now that he does have this dark chi? And that was the only kind of plus one. That for, was the, that was a caveat Pilgrim. that you were like, I don't know, yeah. Is that maybe if he just touches Sonny in the right way, he can just shut him down. Right. Well, that's probably that was, his biggest strength. That was my question too. And also don't forget that um um, Cressida a couple of times talks about Pilgrim, and one time she almost says verbatim. Remember, she says Pilgrim has many gifts, right. so yes. we don't know right. all that he can do. So he might have some X factors that we don't even know about. Yeah, so, so why the hell did we choose Sunny then? If if we know if we know this man can be well, so that's, dangerous, that's the that's <laughs> I'm the sitting there going, wait, that's right, that's right. Yeah, that's the perfect segue so, to getting to the, the the positives for well, why we chose Sunny. Yeah, well, I want. I see my the re, my reasoning 
is, you know, just staying on Pilgrim for one second is that he, but he is a brawler though. And we know that when they get this dark tree, it's not so much about finesse as it is, you know, all right. So mainly who we've seen with dark Chi are MK, Nix and Caster. And right. Nix and Caster, they do have a little finesse, but they're also trained fighters. Whereas MK is super powerful, but very raw. So right. this is all we really have to go on. But then you think about the Abbots. So it's not all we have to go on because those guys are badasses. They're and we've seen, we've seen abilities from them also. Yeah. You know what I mean? That that are different than than what we've saw in, in it, I'm, that's what I'm wondering. And that's a really cool question is the fact that if say the three of us just got this dark chi, would we all have that same ability? Or is there like it would be a mess. Segment, I'll just say right now, it'd be a mess. It. <laughs> okay. You know we make I mean? a mess of everything. <laughs> no, but that's that's the whole that's the whole point is and that's what's the mystery about uh this this about Azra and, and about the Abbots and about this dark this right, dark yeah, power true. and stuff like that true, is yeah. it, it doesn't seem like it's all universal to to everyone. Yeah, like, I mean all end up with the same positives and abilities. I would agree. Like there definitely seems to be tears to the gift, right? Mm -hmm. You seem I mean, you seem to see folks that kind of almost have like this rudimentary skill with the gift where they can take a blow or they can deliver like a crushing shot. And then you have the abbots that are on like this whole different level with being able to turn it off and on and good grief. How many like how many hits did Kung Lee take that would have like he got hit by a car yeah. and right. still was on his feet. Yeah. yeah. So there definitely seems to be like levels to it. Yeah. Well, that's what you said it perfectly with like the tears thing. And that's really going on um, why I believe Sonny would do it in the first place. Because number one, and I'm sure we'll all agree, is Sonny can hold his own with these Abbots. We've, mm -hmm. we've seen him, yep. you know, against three Abbots. Right. And, 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 yeah, exactly. And it's just um, now when you add that force to him, and not only the fact that you add the Chi, but now you're adding his background and what every what is everybody in the show that knows about Sonny or has some kind of knowledge about where he's come from that this dude is special yep yeah so i'm just i'm just bringing that right up here because there's this there's something mysterious about him and that regardless of how strong now pilgrim may seem i there's there's something maybe a little extra with with sunny and that's my big big okay. reason so uh, i would I would go with him. What's up? I'm sorry, Chris. Were you were you about to jump in? Nope, I don't want to cut right you off. Ahead. So I'm going Team Sunny for a couple of different reasons. Even though now that I think about it, man, guys, I'm going to throw a monkey wrench in the water with uh -oh. Pilgrim. So. Awesome. But I do think that Sunny, to me, out of all the fight. Oh, hold on. Oh, I thought my wife just called me. Sorry. That's um, okay. <laughs> Um, I do think that out of all the fighters that we've seen in the Badlands, that Sonny is the most versatile. So, like, his Thanks. style mm -hmm. is the most versatile. So, I think he, he, so I notch him up one for that. And I think that he's probably the most adaptive when it comes to the different person in front of him. So, if he's got a brawler, he's going to adjust to be able to do that. And plus, I think his strikes are going to just be that much, that much faster. I don't think Pilgrim is going to be able to keep up with him, and if, especially with the gift. So. Yeah. Yeah. What do you. I um I, I absolutely 100% agree with all the things you guys said. Um, Al, you touched on a thing where you said, like, if he has to be a brawler, he'll be a brawler. And that brings me up to one of my all-time favorite scenes from the show In out of all of them is the fight in the RV when he's protecting Henry. You know, Sonny is one person that has reasons to to be that. And to, yeah. and to defend and to, you know, and Pilgrim, you know, if, 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 we're saying, what are the reasons why they're fighting? Are they just fighting to fight? Or are they fighting because us three guys said, hey, fight, you know what I mean, in, in our imaginations? Or is it, you know, so to me, it's like, no. You got to have a reason to, the, the guy who wants it the most is going to win, regardless right. of skill, all right? right. We've all seen Rocky. I just saw Creed two. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's what I'm saying, you know? It's the yeah. guy who wants it the most. So, so in addition to all of those things that you said, you know, his his adaptability, his fighting style, his ability to to take on multiple opponents, the fact yeah. that he has that he is more than meets the eye, and everybody knows it. You know, it's that he has the drive, he has the 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 reason behind. You know, mm -hmm. he has the fear yeah. and the love <laughs> and all of that that makes somebody that that is the eye of the tiger right there. You know, to yeah. to, to go to do a little callback. You know, it's like so. Yeah, so that's why. 
and I'm adding to you guys. That's what I, you know, that's why I think Sonny, you know, could be. Now, Al, give me that monkey wrench. So the monkey wrench is, you remember what um, Ankara says about, about Henry's gift and how mm-hmm. powerful it is. So I'm wondering, since Pilgrim took Henry's gift and he pulled it all out of him, does, does his level of kind of the dark chi even supersede Sonny's? Because we know that, that this baby was like, it's like super juiced, if you right. will, yeah. with yeah. the dark gift. And does does that matter? And then I guess if you couple that with his own abilities and guys, the more I think about it, Pilgrim's ability to turn off the gift, if that can affect Sonny, I do think that could be a major game changer. That's right. That's so right. No, I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to mention that. I, I wanted to get all these things out. And then let's talk about that for a brief second. That is definitely one of the biggest wrenches in, in this whole in our whole thing. One that I don't think any of us realized uh, when when we all said Sonny at first, right? So, yeah, he can do that, can he? He can do that. However, you got to touch Sonny to do it. That's that was my <laughs> okay. thoughts yeah. about that. Is you have to touch you have to touch Sonny. Listen, w- I agree with 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 Al said about the, his versatility. It seems like no matter which weapon. Sonny picks up or, or no weapon. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's, that's another thing too. What, what you just said, Chris, is the fact that we, we haven't really, we haven't seen Pilgrim with weapons either. Um, but the big thing is, and we've discussed this, we said this a couple times already is we don't know if there's different tiers like Al says and levels of the mm-hmm. chi. Mm-hmm. Look at what the master did when she walked into the widow and chat. Yeah. yeah that is yeah. stopped time basically. Time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah freezing um all, all the arrows but not only did she stop those but but the widow and chow were still moving around so it's like yeah. she got to, she can choose all right, right i don't want that leaf to hit the ground that just fell from the right. tree right. but you know so there's there's so much more um that that we're gonna find out and explore <laughs> i think i was gonna this. say keep that in mind. everybody keep that in mind when we put the master against somebody so <laughs> yeah that's right yeah so it's <laughs> stops time it's, check you know right, right. Yeah, and look, uh, hey, you know, it's a, it's a, it's an awesome, it's a big piece of of this show, and that's a big reason why I enjoy the show so much. Is yeah, is there's yeah. still so much more to give us with the Azra mystery, and and will we ever see this place, and just the whole backstory? Uh, I'm sure all of you are um, excited to see too more about uh, Sunny's sister, and and that whole story, and and the Dark Chi, and it, it's such a great show. And uh, this is a really fun video to do, and I hope yeah. everybody that's watching this enjoys this yeah. as well. Um, is there anything else that you guys want to add to this? Or the only thing I would say, since since um, and Chris, you brought it up. Now we we see how powerful the master is at the end of season three, episode eight. But then you think about when MK hits the master so hard that he that that he breaks that bone in her arm. So even go. with her level of power. There's a vulnerability there. So these matches are, yeah. you got to think about them. That's why, and you know, that, you know, the whole reasoning behind giving everybody the dark chi is exactly what we're all saying. Is that, like you said, again, Al, there are all these tiers. Not, so right. everybody has these levels. Now, it kind of blows well, we my think, mind because we it's, think there are, well, yeah. but we do that, but we see that though. Because because you have someone like, like you just said, Al, if MK can, can bash the master that way, yet the master can stop time, yet... Pilgrim has Henry's all power. Like it's like, what the hell is happening? Like it's, <laughs> it, it kind of is a little too much. So again, <laughs> let as as we get to see, you know, yeah. the rest of this, the, you know, wherever you're watching this video. But if you the rest of the season pan out, we're gonna get to see all this stuff. So all right, so uh, let's all end it there. We all say Sunny. I think we all stick with Sunny still. I still have Sunny. All right, Sunny. It's sunny all the way. We're team sunny right now. Guys, obviously, let us know what you think in the in the in the, in the description. In the description. In the in the comments. The you know. comment section below. But 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 <laughs> but your homework is give us your reasons. Give us your reasons why. You know? And I'd like to see I'd like to see I mean we also look, we we actually pleaded a case for Pilgrim as well. So I'd like to see other reasons why Pilgrim would win, you know. But anyway. Um, I, I, all right. Go ahead. I was going to say, Chris, I, I'd be particularly interested in that, guys. If there is anybody out there that thinks that we're wrong about Sonny, I would love for you to lay it out in the comments as to why. At least three yeah. reasons why you think 
the Pilgrim would win this confrontation because I'm curious to see what the thoughts are about yeah, that. Hell yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's All right. right. So uh, that's going to do it on this, from, on this thing. Uh, right before we, we wrap this up, I did want to mention, if you did notice, and I'm sure you did, yes. the three of us have uh, three wonderful, wonderful banners. All right. If you can see, um, and they are uh, courtesy of a wonderful community member. Her name yes. is Nat and uh, she creates these these wonderful things plus other other props from the show she's um fantastically skilled at doing this and we were the three of us were lucky enough to get these banners we all chose different banners which is awesome you know what i mean and and uh you know so they're gonna be in our badlands videos and i just think it's so cool so uh you know just want to say thank you to nat thank you so much i really do appreciate it they look great They look wonderful, and so, yeah, so that's awesome. So um, if you want to see more of that, go, go. you know, the, the Facebook group will be down below. Just get in there and uh, join this community because, you know, Al says it on his channel all the time. This is one of the best communities you're ever going to be in, right? Great community. Yep. That's Al, great. where can they reach you? What's your channel again, and where can they reach you on social? So you guys can find me at Dark Side TV and Movie Reviews, a channel that's very similar to Chris. We cover ITB heavily on that channel. Every yeah. Thursday we have an ITB video um you guys can also reach me on twitter at al john seward and that's the call handle on twitter and the instagram is the same as the the um youtube channel um guys why did i just forget my own channel's name uh <laughs> dark side tv and movie reviews is the instagram um handle so any one of those places you guys can yep. can hit me up and we'd love to have you and thank you guys for uh, Mike and Chris for allowing me to do this. This is no problem. Awesome, oh, man. Don't worry. We'll we're get great. you we're, anymore. We're, we're glad you had some fun. Yep. And of course, you can check us out on Third Person Pod on YouTube, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and you can also have a listen to this on on iTunes. That's it. Again, thank you again, Al, for being on yes, here. Sir. Yes. Uh, thank you to Nat for our wonderful banners, and thank you Thanks guys again, for watching. Nat. Thank you for the community, and we will see you guys on the next UFB. All right. Peace, everybody.